day four. Uh, we are here in Lake Tahoe right now and have no idea where we're going. So uh, we're absolutely in the dark. So we're ready. We got a lot of air in our tires. So obviously I need some highway this morning. First time we hit the dirt today, but we basically been driving on the highway all day. Uh, just went through Bishop, got everything we needed, and we're told we're camping tonight. So we uh, have everything we need. So right now we're on Papoose Road. It looks like we're heading to Death Valley on dirt, so don't really know. Mel is keeping us in the dark, but it looks like it's gonna be a fun time. Actually, a ladder down there. If you're willing and stupid oh, enough, no. we're not gonna explore. We're gonna drive a car <laughs> in the tunnel and drive back out. So you have to go down. Eddie's gonna go in first. He'll stay there and be our traffic cop at the bottom. <laughs> Try to get everybody turned around, and then we gotta drive back out. Once upon a time, this this mine was founded in 1860, and it was actually worked until about 1936. Today, there are about five levels that you can actually access if you're crazy enough to. But um, you can drive five, about five vehicles all the way down, about a quarter mile back, and have enough room to turn them all around. That's how much room is back to. There are tunnels everywhere. You can get lost in this thing. So we're only going to go to the point that we know is safe. We've actually gone back a little bit further, but I don't think that's that kind of time. So you haven't been here before? No. No, all new. Right now we are getting ready to go drive a quarter mile into a uh, mine. So I'm pretty stoked. So we actually get to drive our Jeeps way down this mine shaft. So this mine has like five different levels that you can climb up if you wanted to. We don't have time today, but I guess I'm gonna have to come back and do some exploring. So you can feel the wind blowing through. So there is like basically holes where they've created it. So that way there's oxygen down in there. And you're not suffocating. So I'm ready. Driving five miles an hour. <laughs> oh. oh. Do you feel that cool air? Yeah. That's the only reason why we can do this. Woo! Yeah. We're in a mine shaft. Yeah. It's so scary. Dude, let's find one of the goer up things. I volunteer you. Oh, I'll go. I'll go. Casey, can you reach it? Oh, I 
Because now we can't see. I have my own phone. Where's your phone? Harley, I have my own oh, phone. Oh, fuck. What's that? Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. It's going to land on me. Bad idea. Decapitation <laughs> by <laughs> Casey. Oh, <God. laughs> it broke. We're going. It's broke. Okay, we're going, we're going back down. Did you break it, Casey? Oh, the last look right there. I stepped on it and the, the legs went through the hole. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't think anyone's been up there for a while. I think we didn't go either. <laughs> we just watched. Just finished uh, coming out of the reward mine. That was an epic experience. Went down about a quarter mile, then walked another quarter mile, so we were way down in there, but super cool to see all the mine shafts. Supposedly, it's basically five levels, and uh, yeah, definitely something to put on the bucket list. All right, we're four days in to the JKX experience. We are on a massive, like 800 mile cheap adventure, and one thing I want to make sure we talk about is the 2.0 IQS shocks. It has been an unbelievable ride. We've been in the woods, we've been in the mountains, we've been in rocky shell, long, long riverbeds. We've been all over the place. And one thing that we have going for us is the adjustable shocks. So three settings, we got soft, we got you know the medium, and we got firm. So if we get down those fast rows, I can firm it up, get the ride a little bit more stable, and make it a much safer ride, and also really go faster, and then in the rocks, loosen it up, and make it a lot of fun to drive. Follow this ridge, and there's some uh, salt tram towers that are on top of this ridge, and you'll be able to see both sides. It's kind of cool. And we're gonna drop down the valley, air up, gas up, and I start another road day. Okay? So it's day five, we just finished camping up in a ghost town, pretty unreal. Yesterday was a super fun day, and now we just took like a 45 minute drive, and we are at some crazy, basically salt transfer system where they took salt from this lake bit down here and brought it over to the lake that used to be there. Now it's a salt flat as well. But they took it from down there, it looked like just like a ski lift, so pretty unreal to see this whole thing still be here, and all the uh, big pieces, so. And we're at 9,000 feet, so elevation's high. up so we just got up the trail and uh, now we're gonna put the in the tires and I think we have a long haul on the uh, pavement today so see you done maybe maybe 
All right, we made it to Pozo Saloon, the oldest saloon in California. Uh, we're like an hour from San Luis Obispo, and dude, just an epic journey today. So some dirt roads, some beautiful scenery this morning with some crazy high elevation. I think we're like 9,000 feet elevation, and now we're gonna end up at the beach. So this trip has uh, had a little bit of everything. What did you do? Took some photos, top of the mountain over here, looking at the ocean. We're Pretty epic. Cayucas. We're in Cayucas. Polly Dave knows the spot, so I found a rock for my kids. They paint these and. Are you supposed to take it? Though? Yeah. You take them. Yeah, you take. Well, then you take it and then she'll replace it and she'll put it somewhere else, right? And this rock might travel all over the world. So now my kids are gonna be happy. Long drive yesterday, I do apologize about that. We covered a lot of ground. Going from that side of the ridge over to this side just takes a long time. There's no good way to go, go about it. Today we're gonna be doing some sightseeing stuff. We're gonna go to Hertz Castle, it's right up the road. Uh, so a nice relaxing morning. And then we have lunch lined up for us. And um, after that we have some off-roading to do in, in the evening. That's it, ready to leave at 8.30, we'll get going. We're gonna be going north right now on, on, on the highway. I don't know what you better go. This so day six, uh, woke up, a little 15 minute drive to the Hertz Castle. Amazing. Dude, I've never been up here. Everyone needs to go see that castle. The, the guys that are telling the story about Mr. Hertz, it's an unbelievable experience. Definitely gonna get home with some more knowledge, so excited about that. Now we get back in the Jeeps and don't know the plan for today, but I'm assuming we're going to Pismo Beach, so we're so close to there. I don't see why we would not try for Jeeps there, which I'm good to uh, go do some duning. So we'll see how it goes. I see, I see blood in the water. Ooh, me, me. You see blood in the water. We're at Poly Performance Synergy, eating some lunch and I'm gonna go on a big tour to check this whole thing out and see what it's all about. I've never been up here. So right here where you're in, this is uh, the engineering R&D area for Synergy. This is where we're creating and inventing and making Jeep parts. So we'll go ahead and kind of walk around here a little bit. Uh, we do a lot of sheet metal and tubular weldments. It's kind of like our specialty. That's what we do a lot of to make the parts. We get a lot of flat work in, and then we cycle it through our manufacturing facility over here. So we have tubular weldments like this piece right here. So we'll get material in like this. We'll set it up on the bandsaw, cut a bunch of bars, then we'll then we'll bend them, then we'll fish mouth them, then they'll get set up in the fixture to get tacked up, and then once this, they'll head over to the welding positioner and get fully burned up. have over here is this is all Synergy's finished good inventory and as you can see from walking through our facility you know we're kind of experiencing a space crunch here so with the new facility we'll end up moving poly performance into the front half of that thing and allow Synergy to really have the space that it needs to keep growing into the rest of this facility so okay we're gonna be heading over to the Oceano sand dunes so we'll spend the afternoon on the beach sand dunes this is where all you V8 guys you should be able to excel, okay? Uh, it's a lot of fun, kind of scary when you go up and over a peak, know where the person's at in front of you. It just wraps up going to the pool. Okay. Melvin, I cannot believe you just did that. That was not me. But now we just wrapped up doing a burnout in Dave's new building. We just wrapped up Poly Performance Synergy Manufacturing. Doing a little shop tour, had lunch. Now we are heading to Pismo Beach and we are gonna go, look like drive some sand in. So I think I've been there when I was like 10, 12 years old. So somebody's gonna burn out right now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go drive some dunes. I'm excited, never driven a JK in the sand dunes. I don't know what you better go. This is not your home. Oceana
JK ex experience in the bugs. Dude, what an epic trip. Wheeling Carson, wheeling on Rubicon, driving in some mines, dude, sleeping on an old ghost town. I mean, the whole thing was phenomenal. Then today, getting to go on the beach of Pismo Beach and, and driving in the dunes. We watch a Jeep full sand off a sand dune, jumping like 10 feet in the air. Freaking epic, man. I'm ready. I want to come back. I absolutely love my JK. I love everything about it. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to drive some more. I'm Casey Curry. Thank you for watching. Now, comment below. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Subscribe right here. Watch more videos here. Thank you guys.